What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Basic Series Naomi. Now here we have Naomi. She is in the new WWE packaging. Uh, surprisingly it doesn't have a number. It doesn't have the series. It just says Naomi. But what it does have is it does say Divas down here and on the side. Or behind her actually. Here we do have a, ni a lovely picture of Naomi. And then we have the figure in the window box, so the window box is standard. On the back we see this new packaging. Recreate the action of the WWE. Uh, we have John Cena, the Ultimate Warrior, Dean Ambrose, Xavier Woods, Naomi, and Hideo Itami. Now, like I said, this is the new style packaging, so instead of getting figure numbers, we actually get what brand they belong to, although... It's kind of pointless seeing as how Raw and SmackDown aren't separate brands anymore, but I guess just to keep packaging old habits, I guess. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get her open up, and then we'll go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Naomi posing out of the packaging. Now before we go on to the figure, let's actually get a good 360 of her. Really liking this figure. A uh, little more than I thought I would. It does have a few quality control issues here and there, but, you know, it's quality control, and nothing I can really fight against, it's just, it just happens. It's a luck of the draw with figures sometimes. Uh, this is actually Naomi's second release. If you don't remember, she was released in the two-pack with Cameron, with the Funkadactyls, and this is just her single release. I don't think we'll be getting a Cameron anytime soon, but here we have Naomi out of the packaging. And let's get a look at that face sculpt, uh, I'm going to say Mattel dropped the ball on this one. They should have given Naomi a new head sculpt. Maybe given her that ponytail that she was using in her face run. It's a little bit of a letdown, honestly. Mattel normally, like, just phones it in with Devo figures. They don't even... It's like they don't care much about the Devo figures unless it's, like, a new Devo. Other than that, they'll just reuse what they did the last time. Which I'm kind of glad they didn't, because then we would have got those arms that had the little tassels and then the heels that were hard to stand. Now, this is Naomi as a face. Uh, she did change her attire as a heel, but this was when she was going for the diva style as a face. She is wearing yellow, and that checker pattern is really prevalent along the figure. And my goodness, the amount of time to make that checker pattern, it's like... Who has the time to do that? Honestly, especially with a paint, painting it as a figure. Granted, it is sloppy in some places. You can see it doesn't quite line up properly. Um, I don't know how to feel about that because, like I said, from a distance, you're not even going to notice unless you're really trying to look for it, especially right here, right there, and on the inside of her thighs. Like I said, unless you're really trying to nitpick the figure, you're not going to really find this wrong or anything. But like I said, there are some places where the paint is thinner than others, but you're not going to notice it from a distance. And most people just view collections from a distance, so it's not a real big deal. Uh, but other than that, I wish I had the other Naomi figure to do a comparison really fast, but it's actually in my room, and I don't have it with my little storage bin, so that's a little unfortunate they can't do a comparison. But she, like I said, she is using most of the same torso. I think the arms are completely different, as well as the shins. The bottom of her knees are also different. I think that's it. I might be wrong. Like I said, I don't have her in hand, so I can't really do a comparison. Let's see, it does have an end right here and on her back. But anyway, let's actually go into our articulation, because she doesn't come with any accessories being a basic figure. She has a ball in the head, she can look left and right, but this really long hair gets in the way. And I, I don't think her hair is this long anymore, and that's another thing I wish Mattel would have done, is correct this problem. Like I said, giving her that ponytail would have been much better. But then again, it's Mattel, so I'm not really expecting a gold mine with... The, this, but like, yeah, she would 
do a full 360 if it wasn't for her hair. Uh, she does have a ball joint, but it's pretty much useless the way her hair hugs the back of her neck. Arms on the ball joint go out. Do a full 360. She spins at the bicep. Single jointed in the elbow. Spins at the wrist. She, she has that ab crunch, which works really nice, as well as has some side-to-side -side movement. Waist joint, which I absolutely hate. The swivel should always be at the diaphragm joint, just so you don't cut up the sculpt like that. Let's go forward, back, and out. And this is where the quality control on mine is. You can see her thigh is a little loose. Not actually on both of them. They're both quite loose. But once you get them out to a certain point, they'll hold their shape. So that's not too big of an is issue for me. And huh. This thing is actually stuck. I'll have to move it around a little, try to unfreeze that joint. But she does spin at the thigh, single jointed in the knee, spins at the boot, and has an ankle hinge. So all the standard articulation for a diva figure you'd expect. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get a pose for my final thoughts, and we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have Naomi pose for my final thoughts. Overall, really nice figure. Um, just a little disappointed that mine suffers from quality control issues. Uh, it will be a a little bit of a problem getting her to stand, but once she's standing, uh, she's not going to topple over. It's not like she has weak ankles or anything. I picked this Naomi up at Toys R Us for about $9.99, which came out to about ten eighty with tax. Uh, that's what you're basically paying for basic figures, and which is pretty good, especially considering Diva figures tend to have more articulation than male figures. Overall, I do recommend this figure. It is a welcome update to Naomi, and I'm actually quite surprised it took us this long to get a second Naomi figure. Um, like I said, I don't foresee them releasing another Cameron any time in the future, but that's because she's not on TV and isn't really relevant. Still wish they would re release Tamina Snuka. But anyway, if you can find Naomi, I highly recommend you pick her up, especially if you're trying to fill out your Divas roster. Uh, I can't say enough about this figure, so I'm going to wrap up my review here. Once again, guys, thank you for watching my channel. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you think of Naomi, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.